YouTube land! Today we have an important CSGO update on the vlog. Interacting with CSGO. This is some crazy anti-cheat news. It's looking like the anti-cheat is going to be acting in a very similar way to how the Valorant anti-cheating is working in this beta branch. It's going to be blocking drivers that aren't digitally signed. Very similar in vain. Back in the days when VAC originally started, it was going to be super intrusive and everyone complained. I said, oh my god, privacy, this is getting crazy, you're going to be taking all my files, seeing all this, that, and the other, it's crazy. But no, we're getting back to the, let's get rid of the cheaters, because we want rid of the bloody cheaters. The cheaters are crazy bad. So, let's check this out. So, we've got in this interaction with CSGO blog post, today we're shipping an optional beta branch of the CSGO with changes that are part of the continuing fight against cheating to help out, you can opt into the beta by following the instructions. So they've made it fairly easy if you want to opt in, and you can opt back out again. So you can go in, check out the changes, see if like any programs conflicting with it that is like legit. So that's good news. So like in the Valorant version of their anti cheat, you can actually turn it off if it's interfering with like FPS monitoring programs as, as such. So that's good. So hopefully they'll add that as a feature, but they're adding it into the menu, but it'll affect your trust factor, so let's carry on. Uh, CSGO now significantly restricts the types of programs and files that interact, interact with the game. In the unlikely event that you've launched the game with incompatible files, you'll find, receive a warning indicating that the incompatible file and may be blocked from joining back enabled servers. To resolve this issue, you can disable the trust launch in the in-game settings. Yeah. However, this may temporarily impact your trust score. So that's a good thing. So when cheaters are trying to get around it, it's going to impact the trust score. So there you go. And they'll hopefully with the new anti-cheat, we're getting these people and finding them out. So that's good stuff. So for developers of third-party uh, programs that interact directly with CSGO, execute a process will add added requirements that will impact your software moving forward. All DLLs and that interact with the CSGO will need to be digitally signed with an authentic code signature. Additionally, we will block signed DLLs if they are functionally interfe functionality interferes with the game in any way. So there, they're going to be really trying to stop people from cheating because they, they use things like MSI afterburners because the, the drivers aren't they're digitally signed, but they never seem to get changed and they were getting blocked by Valorant. I don't think they fixed it now. They're not cheat with blocking stuff like that. They were blocking next cam things like that because they were piggybacking the cheats into the game via that sort of method so we're trying to make it as fair as possible for everyone to play csgo and you want fair matches so it's great news so as i said you can opt into this check it out for yourself see what you think and if you're having problems just go back to the original and they're going to try and work out all the bugs which is a good way of doing it because when valorant just stuck on the anti-cheat and it's on constantly and you couldn't see that it was on people were freaking out things were getting blocked things weren't working and people were getting I'm upset and crazy about it. So, hopefully with the CSGO version way and Valve's way of doing it, hopefully they'll uh, have less problems. So, what do you think about this amazing news? Are you happy that they're going to be trying to stop cheaters with the uh, the DLL files that they're hijacking so they can get into the game and wall axe, plumbing, aim bots and this and that? So if you're very happy with the, uh, the news, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave some comments down there below and we'll, we'll talk about it. So, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Flux out.